A vaccine for Ebola which has completed successful trials in Guinea and Sierra Leone means the virus should never again be able to wreak the havoc it did during the recent epidemic in West Africa, say scientists. More than 11,000 people died in the outbreak, which began unnoticed in December 2013 and spread across the region, infecting at least 28,600 people and triggering a global response, including a race to get an effective vaccine tested and into use. Final results for the vaccine that was rushed into trials in Guinea and later Sierra Leone show that it was highly effective against one of the most lethal known pathogens in existence. Ten days after vaccination, none of the trial subjects developed Ebola virus disease. The very few who did, in the days immediately following vaccination, are thought to have been infected already. While these compelling results come too late for those who lost their lives during West Africa's Ebola epidemic. They show that when the next Ebola outbreak hits, we will not be defenseless, said Dr. Marie Paul Keeney, the World Health Organization's Assistant Director General for Health Systems and Innovation, and the study's lead author. Merck, Sharp and Dome, the company manufacturing the vaccine, has received permission to go through fast-track procedures for a license from the U.S. and European regulatory authorities. It has committed to making 300,000 doses that will be ready for any emergency even before formal approval. With $5 million, 4 million pounds, in funding from Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. The trial began in the coastal region of Baskine, which still had cases in 2015, even though the numbers were abating across the region. Writing in the Lancet Medical Journal, the scientists say it was not easy. A devastating outbreak of Ebola virus disease is clearly not the ideal situation for doing a vaccine trial. The healthcare system in Guinea was strained. Potential trial participants were worried about a candidate vaccine made by foreign people, and the Ebola virus disease response teams were facing security issues, they write. They collaborated closely with the government and local authorities in Guinea and chose a ring vaccination design for the trial, which was unusual but had been successful in helping stamp out smallpox decades ago. When a new case of Ebola was diagnosed, the teams offered vaccination to everybody who had been in contact with the person in the previous three weeks from family to friends and neighbors. They also offered vaccination to the closest contacts of those contacts. This cluster, or ring, amounted to around 80 people on average. Altogether, 117 such rings or clusters were identified. At first, adults were randomly assigned to get the vaccine immediately or three weeks later, but when it became clear that the vaccine was protecting most people, everybody was offered immediate vaccination, including children. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.